you do not have to settle for a mediocre life. When we come to accept something in our life as good enough, oftentimes that doesn't truly reflect our feelings. Oftentimes we really want better for ourselves, but we say it's good enough because whatever we have, maybe the the home we live in or the family we have, the relationships we have, the job we have, we say it's good enough. It could be worse is really how we feel about it. But you don't have to settle for something simply because it could be worse. If you want the best for yourself, if you want things to be different, you have the power to make that happen. You do not need to settle for a mediocre life. Let's be perfectly clear. I'm not trying to get you to strive for more material possessions. That doesn't define a great life. More things is not what I'm pointing to here. What I'm pointing to here is more passion, more fulfillment, and more genuine contentment out of life. And how are we going to get there? Well, you need to understand the areas of your life where you're not actually fully satisfied and you want change. And you need to be honest with yourself about the fact that you desire change in those areas of your life. Because oftentimes we settle for mediocrity because things are quote unquote good enough. And we lie about our authentic desire for change and for improvement in certain areas of our lives. And it doesn't need to be that way. You can be honest with yourself. And the reason that people are hesitant to be honest with themselves subconsciously is because when you outline the fact that you're not fully satisfied, now you're kind of honing in on the fact that, well, you're not fully satisfied. You're kind of zeroing in on something that you think, you know, I'm unhappy here. But really, this is progress because the alternative is that you're in denial about the fact that you're not fully happy in that given area. You're in denial about the fact that you don't fully love your job. You don't fully feel good in your relationship. You don't feel good about, you know, your personal life outside of relationships and work. Maybe you feel like you need more hobbies. Maybe you feel like you're not learning enough. Whatever it may be, once you get honest with yourself about the fact that you're not fully happy in any given area, you can go about making the necessary changes. What is the problem? I'm not fully engaged in my work. Okay, well then what is the solution? I need to have work where I'm more fully engaged, where I'm more passionate, where I'm more excited. I need to have a relationship where I'm more open and communicative with my wife or my husband or my friend or my family member and actually feel heard. You know, conversations don't really get anywhere and that's because I think I don't usually fully hear them. Bottom line is you don't have to settle. I'm really grateful that I recognize this from such a young age because I think as life goes on, this is a paradigm that people get locked into. That like, well, I'm not, I shouldn't complain. Things are good enough. It could be much worse. But the lesson here isn't that you should complain. It's that you shouldn't accept less than what you know you could create for yourself. You shouldn't settle for less fulfillment in life than you know could be there. So make those changes to your diet, to your exercise protocol or lack thereof, to your relationship, to your career, any area of your life that you feel is mediocre, you do not have to settle Go ahead and create what you know you can have. That beautiful relationship, that body that is firing on all cylinders because it's a picture of health, that career that you are excited to grow and develop every day. And life becomes so beautiful, even just in the pursuit of these things. Not even just the presence of them, even just the pursuit of them. 
because you know you're not settling for less. And be careful not to get fixated on outcomes. And that's why I highlighted that even the pursuit of these things is so beautiful because you know you're not settling and you're in a creative flow. You're expanding. You're doing a dance with life that settling for less and staying stagnant in something that you're not fully satisfied with uh, is not quite like. So that's my message for today, short and sweet. You don't have to settle for mediocrity. Anywhere where you feel like you can expand and improve in your life, you can. It's great news. You ought to celebrate that. And again, I just want to mention one more time that I'm not talking about simply being richer and acquiring more material possessions. It's not about how much money you're making. It's about how alive you feel in your soul. It's about how engaged in life you are. It's about how expansive you feel and genuinely fulfilled. That's it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. And down in the description below, there is a booking link for a coaching call with me. If you are interested in working with me, go ahead and book your first call completely free. And there's also a link to a life audit workbook. It is a great resource. I personally use it to do a quarterly audit four times a year. And uh, like I said, great resource. I highly recommend you go claim yours also completely free. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.